Hello everyone, my name is Yasin and in this video I will present Jira Work Management. So what is Jira Work Management? Well, Atlassian announced last week that they are preparing for a totally new product or let's just say a rebranding of the Jira Core product. So the Jira Core product is basically the business project that you have in Jira. So the ability to create tickets and to assign them to people, comment on them, upload attachments and so on and so on where Atlassian took the decision to rebrand the Jira core to a totally new product, which will be named Jira Work Management. Well, the announcement um, was released and the product is sadly not yet available. So you can subscribe for a waiting list for the beta test phase, but you can't really test the product now. So in this presentation, I tried to sum up some, like I would say general information, which you um, might want to know and present the new features that Atlassian are using to rebrand the Jira core. I think it's a very clever idea from Atlassian. So instead of developing new features and just giving them for free and no one will notice them, they decided to totally rebrand the Jira core and yeah, and package those new features in a new product called Jira Work Management. And Jira Core or Jira Work Management, well, it sounds different. It, Jira Work Management sounds much better somehow. So um, as I said, customers can register um, for a beta test phase. Um, the bad news is that the product won't be available for server or data center clients. But let's see, Atlassian reacts always to customers' um, feedback. Well, um, as I said, it's a rebranding. It's available only for the cloud. And the price, Atlassian says, it's identical to Jira Core, which means if you have Jira Core or Jira Software, which currently includes the Jira Core price, um, you can just use then Jira Work Management new product. Um, yeah, and of course, if you don't need Jira Software and you just want to work on project, um, like business projects for, for example, um, HR departments or marketing departments, then you can purchase the product, of course, separately without having to pay for Jira software. Well, GVM, GWM, GWM uh, project creation permission. This is the new thing, actually. You can create projects if you are a Jira admin, if you are a Jira core um, licensed user. And the weird thing that I've read in their release, um, in their announcement, is that, uh, yeah, users with Jira Core and Jira Software license or with Jira Core and Jira Service Management license, they won't be able to create these projects. Really weird, but yeah, it's, it's like that. Well, what impact does this feature have on your existing uh, business projects or Jira Core projects? Well, um, yeah, if your admin decides to release the new feature within your site, within your cloud site, then all the new features included in Jira Work Management will be applied and will be available in your old projects. So you don't have to activate anything within the project, um, but of course you have probably to inform your project leaders and members working with the Jira business projects because they will see the changes. But this is not something new because Atlassian has been doing the same thing with the other features that they released within the last years. So your admin will test it, he can roll it out, and yeah, you have that feature yeah, when it's released on your site. Well, as you know, in the Jira software or Jira core, um, you have two types of projects. You can, well, basically three. You have the Jira um, business project, which is uh, available in the Jira core. You have Jira software project, which is available in the Jira software. And of course you have the next gen project, which is available in both. So next gen, uh, project or the next generation, the idea behind it is to make the configuration of the project as easy as possible, like fields, um, access rights, and so on and so on. Um, I always recommend not to use next gen project all over your company. If you're a startup, it's okay. But if you're a big company with like thousand projects, I wouldn't really uh, use next gen projects because as an admin, you have really no control um, yeah, on like different aspects, which in big companies, um, as an admin, you should really have control of. Well, 
yeah, next gen won't be affected. The feature affects, as I said, only the Jira business projects. Your Jira software projects won't as well be affected. And let's see the list of features, which, um, yeah, made Atlassian managers sit together and decide, okay, let's pack that in a new product called Jira product management or work management. Well, the first feature is list view. And not only to view the tickets as a list, because this is available with Jira like filters, the ability to see the tickets as a list, of course, which you can configure, and to edit the tickets within that list without having to open the ticket. We will see a screenshot, you will like it. Um, the next feature is calendar view. So you get a calendar where you can see, for example, per week or per quarter or yeah, per month, sorry, not a quarter, per month, where you see, um, yeah, the deadlines of the tickets and uh, yeah, that might help actually. And the third option is form builder. So which means usually users create tickets using the create button and you have to configure, of course, the screen of the project. You have to configure the screen scheme and the screen scheme per issue type to have that form. Um, well, in Jira work management, you can create forms. And it's really an interesting feature. It's comparable to customer request types in Jira service management. And it's really a nice feature to give the project leader or the project administrator the, the, the ability to edit their forms without having to contact you as an admin. Board view. Board view is the feature from the Jira software. Yeah? So you see the tickets in different columns and you can then work on moving the tickets from the left to the right, like Kanban style. And uh, yeah, this feature will be, will be available in Jira work management. And the fifth option is timeline view. It is as well available as a roadmap view in the Jira software and in the Jira business projects or Jira work management projects in the future, the new name, it will be called timeline view. And basically what you see there, you see the list of tickets with their, for example, subtasks, and you see the deadlines of the tickets in a sort of a Gantt diagram with, of course, dependencies, which means if you have a subtask, or a task which should be finished in one week, but a subtask can only start in two weeks, you can then see that directly yeah, because it's a blocking dependency. And uh, yeah, the timeline view will, of course, help you, um, as Atlassian says, to make your data speak. Well, the project background is the new feature as well, and it's actually the possibility to change the background color of your project. Well, yeah, marketing department can then change their background ground color to blue or to red and i don't know other departments can change it to pink probably well that's the new feature changing the background of the project well these are the features that um yeah um the managers of atlassian um used to build a new product nice why not well this is the first um feature as i said the list of you so you can see the list of tickets yeah as a list and with different columns, which of course you can configure. And um, I guess you can as well sort the list. I hope so at least, but I'm not sure. And you can directly, it's like an Excel style. You can just double click on the field and edit it right away. It, it, it helps, I like this feature. Well, the next feature is board um, here, uh, sorry, calendar. So you see the different tickets um, with their, for example, deadlines and if they are done or not. It helps as well in meetings um, to plan some stuff. Next feature is timeline roadmap. So here you see the hierarchy of your tickets, of course, tasks and subtasks, as well as their dependency. And here you can change the view, as I see, um, down per week, per month, or per quarter. And this helps to plan your roadmap for the future. Well, the next feature, as I said, is a Kanban board or board, just having columns which match your um, statuses in your workflow for that um, Jira work management project. And uh, you can drag and drop tickets between columns and apply Kanban. I'm not sure if you can really apply Kanban here, like if you can set the maximum of tasks per column, but I guess it's possible. Well, let's wait and see. Well, and the other feature, as I said, you can give your project administrator the right or the access right to manage um, forms. So um, yeah, by just dragging and drop the field, I hope you understand now the Jira work management new product. And of course, just Google Jira Work Management Atlassian announcement, and then you definitely can see um, a lot of details. I'll as well post the link in the description of the video, which you can just easily access it. Well, enjoy and 
See you.